Hi friends, I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, I'm gonna share with you my sunflowers. I am so excited about these. They're probably maybe six feet tall, I would say. Oh, look at the bee just having a feast on there. Friends, I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I'm able to see sunflowers because I've told you guys several times before the squalls would dig them out when I plant them in between my garden. If you're having a problem, I recommend doing something like this. I got these fence-like things from Amazon and they work amazingly as you can see. So I put the zinnias in there and the sunflowers and the squirrels did not even bother them one bit. I'm so excited about these friends, I really am. But anyway, so in today's video, I just wanted to go over here with you and share with you. I know, I got more Clarence plant. Can you believe that? I. I'm telling you, I couldn't help myself, but I did. But anyway, so here we are. And these are really good ones. They're all good ones, but these are unique ones, right? So here we have this beautiful St. John's Wharf. I told you guys about this. I found it at Lowe's and it was the last random one. So these three plants in the front, they're from a private nursery, okay? So I'm recommending and I'm encouraging you to shop your local private garden centers not the big box stores and you might get lucky they have they had 50% off all perennials yes and I noticed that a different private garden center too they had 50% off their perennials so just don't think of the big box store drive around see what nurseries or private garden centers you have in your area and see what you can find anyway so here we are I was so excited when I got this so this one is a miracle primo or primo St. John's Ward. It allows full sun. It will get 28 to 32 inches tall and 24 to 30 inches wide. It blooms late spring through summer. Dairy stand and attract pollinators. So with this one, friends, do you see that? The buds are white. The other one from Lowe's, the buds were red orange color. And then it blooms yellow. Let me show you. I think I saw some blooms on here. There's a bloom becoming a spent bloom there, but it's beautiful. And friends, these were half off. Yes, half off at the private garden center. So they weren't bad at all. I was so excited about this. I probably paid maybe $7.50 for this. Yes. So don't think your private garden centers are in streets. Don't think they're, oh my goodness, they're so expensive. Just go take a trip somewhere and check out and see what you can find, especially at the end of the season, right? That's when you get really, really good deals to add to your garden. Anyways, it says a beautiful low maintenance shrub, bright yellow flowers arrive in summer above dark green foliage. Flowers are followed by white berries that attract birds and other wildlife. And it's hardy from zone six through eight. I'm so excited about this. So as I said, the other one had the orangey red berries. This one has the white berries. Very, very excited I found another one. And this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. And I told you guys before I was doing some research and I found that it's a native plant. Not sure how true that is. But anyways, okay friends, look at this one. I told you I found some unique finds. This guy here is a string theory from Proven Winners. Amsonia is the name there, and it prefers full sun to part shade. It will get 18 to 22 inches wide. Let's see what's in the back. It says bloom late spring through early summer. It says a spring flowering perennial that provides foliage and texture interest throughout summer. Periwinkle blue flowers are produced above dark green thread leaf leaf oh my goodness grows best in full sun to pass shade and average moist soil friends look at this so it looks like this side is gonna be in spring and this side is when it blooms so i'm excited to see what it's gonna look like in spring absolutely gorgeous and this is what it looks like so my first time with this plant i was happy when i found it and I'm not sure if this is seeds on here. I noticed there's some little seed looking pods on here. So I'm not sure my first time. So I'm very excited about this. 
So this was also from the private garden center and I think I paid $7.50 too for this. Yes, very, very unusual, very, very unique. And okay, let me just show you these. So you guys know how much I love these. So friends, I went back to Lowe's and you will not believe it. I found the last two in Clarence. Oh my goodness, I was so excited. Now, if you saw my video where I found one in Clarence and these guys were still full price and they had them in the Clarence section. I was like, they're mine, they were waiting for me, yes. So I just had to get them. I just love these Nandinas, oh my goodness. So I'll be putting these in some fall containers and I'll share that with you. Just beautiful, right? It just screams fall. And it says, oops, it says Firepower Nandina and this is what it looks like. Prefers part sun, beautiful. And they will get 24 to 36 inches tall and wide and they're not hardy in zones one through five beautiful and they were 13 dollars and change so i paid seven dollars and change for them and here's the other one let me take it out and show it to you because i'm telling you it's just gorgeous just loving it friends so I got two of these, so I'll be putting them in the front in part. So just a tip for you, if you're thinking of putting shrubs in containers or leaving your shrubs you now have in containers, make sure they are two zones lower from your zone, all right? Okay, friends, here is this one. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Friends, tell me if you've ever seen anything looking like this. Oh my goodness, I love it. All right, let me give you a 360 here so you can see beautiful isn't it it's gorgeous right anyway so what is this plant here so this is from proven winners it's a rock and grow back in black it prefers full sun it will get 22 24 inches look at the beauty in here so i have the sedum the adam joy sedum and then i also have the i think it's the white wrong sedum i just picked up this year so this is a new one back in black and friends, I probably won't show you this, but I said to myself, I think I'm gonna start to collect sedums. Yes, like how I love my corbels, hookers, and nandinas and spireas. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm just falling in love with these plants. Anyway, so let's see here. So it says, bloom late summer to early fall, hardy from zones three to nine and it says go to the dark side of your sun garden with this fall blooming perennial near black leaves can be enjoyed throughout the summer and later in the season flowers bloom with red centers and cream petals oh my goodness look at it friends just look at it so what i'm gonna do next year i'm gonna propagate some of these because see them they're very easy to propagate and they're very drought tolerant and you don't need to water them that much and friends i think this was here it is so that was half off it was eight dollars yep eight dollars for this yes from that private garden center yes yeah, so once again check out the private garden centers and see what you can find friends yes so this is my little mini collection i said to myself i was done getting plants and i just couldn't help it you never know who knows maybe next year it might be a drought where i can find good plants and clearance so my thing is that if you find plants now just get them okay just get them and put them in your garden that's my word of advice to you but absolutely love these I encourage you to check your private garden centers, your private nurseries, and see if you can find any plants out there. All right, all right, friends, we're in the front, and here is the other Nandina if you haven't seen it. And then here is this beautiful Hypericum plant I was telling you about. I have to learn to pronounce that word properly, <laughs> but this is the one with the red cherries, and the other one, as I share with you, has the white cherries and it's doing good so far i just love them and here's the nandina doing a really good job i'm just in love with this plant friends really enjoying this plant hey friends i'm in the front and i just came back from low so i'm going to edit in this part with what i just did in the back just to make it one video but i wanted to share with you friends i got lucky and i found another one of these in the clarence spot I know it doesn't look too well it's just dehydrated right but it will bounce back and this is my money perfect 
Effect Waff White Gila from Proven Winners. And this one is a shrub. It says White Gila for colorful flowers and foliage. Need variegated leaves take on purple tones and abundant pink flowers appear in late spring. Next prefer sun to pot shade, easy care, petite shrub, colorful foliage. It blooms springs and you get interest from it in summer and fall but it gives you those pink flowers in the springtime so pretty and it will get one and a half to two and a half feet tall and wide and it's hardy from zones four through six and it's medium for dairy resistance i got one of this and it was half off i think i paid maybe 14 dollars for it and let me show you these guys over here Friends, look at this. These are the moms from the Clarence section, okay? I hear this story. So, I got these in the Clarence section. So, I was walking to the cashier and they have a ton of moms already fully bloomed. That, to me, look like they should be in the Clarence section. So, I'm like, okay. If anything, they shouldn't be. But, you know what? I'm not complaining. This is how I love to purchase my moms with the buds this tightly close do you see that yes so this will last me longer than those already bloomed out right so if you're gonna pick up mums make sure you get your mums looking something like this i am not buying too much mum this season i'm gonna just try to make my fall containers with what i have already around the garden i'm excited to see how that will turn out so i just got these two so these are the orange mum so I think I paid four dollars for them, which wasn't too bad, right? And it says non hardy in zones one to four, and they will get 12 to 24 inches tall and 16 to 30 inches wide. And friends, if you're looking for your moms and you're looking for moms that will return for you that you can plant in your garden or you can transfer them from the container to the garden, make sure it says hardy. So these ones are perfect for that. Once you in zones five and up, it says non hardy in zone one to four. So that means they will not return in those zones. And also you have the ones where they just say annuals. If they just say annuals, they're not going to come back for you. Or if you buy them at like those local farm market, they're more than likely annuals for you. But make sure it says hardy on the tag or uh, it reference your zone and that way they will come back for you. So for example, oh, and here it says, so I went to Walmart. Yes. And I'll be sharing that video with you shortly. And I found these cute little ones, friends. They were $1.64. And I love how they're just cute. You could just put them in a container if you don't want too much mums in your container. Just to give you that color. Because I think you need a mum, right? I'm not going crazy with a mum. I think I only have five mums I purchased. But you need a mum in your container. That's a must, right? <laughs> anyway, so with these ones, it says annuals, right? And it said they will get... It doesn't even tell you how big they will get. So that's what I'm talking about. It doesn't say how big they will get. Let me see if I could peel back this and see if there's anything underneath there. I doubt so, but let me see if I could peel right, it friends, back. I did peel it back and look, there's nothing on the other side. So with these, for me, they're just annuals. They don't even tell you how big they will get. They're just annuals. So, and they were only $1.64. I don't feel I'm wasting money, so to speak. Um, spend a dollar 64 cents just for a couple of months just to give that color in the garden but once again if you're looking for your moms to return make sure they say hardy moms or they tell you what zones they're hardy in all right so i got two of these from walmart and i think these are supposed to be the orangey color one we'll see the color is not even on there and then friends here is my free one remember i told you guys a few times ago Lowe's, they have this reward membership. They just started this spring of this year. So in spring, I got a coleus. And for fall, I got this. So I'm not sure if they might have anything for the holiday season. I'm thinking they might probably do poinsettias. So with this, you have to have their reward. And they would send you like different dates. You put this, you sign up for the rewards, okay? And then you put different, they give you different dates you can pick them up on time so normally it's just one week and you could probably do friday saturday or sunday and they give you a time frame and you will just choose a location closer to you 
and then when you go there you just scan the barcode and the lady just give it to you so they have the like a table here within the period so for example today is saturday so my time was between 10 and 2 so i got there maybe 11 30 and they just had these so they had this this with the yellow mom friends and i'm telling you 90 percent of them were already bloomed so this is the one i got and i'm like you will not believe it i stood there like trying to pick one and i said to myself just pick one it's free what are you being so picky about so this is the best one where the buds were this close so i think it's a pink one and you could see the pink color there so hey it's free so i'm excited about that and i don't know if you have to have their credit card to do this i don't know but i know if you have their reward and i think their reward is relatively new they either start the reward program last year or this year i think i saw and if you do just check it out go online check it out and hey if you get a free plant every season why not right so it's my free one so i only have five moms four i purchased and the other one is free so that's it i'm not gonna buy any more moms because i just don't want to. i'm always spending money along i'm always buying moms and all these annuals for fall and guess what it's only for what two months two and a half months so i feel like i'm trying to get away from that just like my annuals right like my summer annuals i don't mind spending some money for my summer annuals at least you have how many months to enjoy them but i'm trying to get away from that unless there is something i really want i'm just limiting my purchase on annuals how's that so i'm trying to get more flowers in the garden where they are perennials and they will give me blooms so let me take you over here quickly so for example do you see all this these are snapdragons yes friends i got some from walmart last year and i got some from a local private garden center this year and so before i will put annual tail like petunias and all of that these are going to be blooming for me and they will come back so that's my point right so i don't feel like money is wasted getting annual well pe perennials that will come back for you because these are perennials i'm in zone 6b 7a so they will return for me so i'm just loving these snapdragons loving them but anyway friends i just wanted to share with you my clarence plant haul and i'm saying to myself no more clarence plant okay i'm like i'm done for the season but guess what if i see anything i like i'm gonna pick it up if the price is good why not because i'm saying to myself you never know what's gonna happen next year right so if i could find plants now that i'm enjoying and the prices are great telling you friends lows is it this season home depot nothing walmart garden center was absolutely it was empty there was nothing in there i have a video where they just have their fall planting uh, mums and grasses but they don't have shrubs or anything in it not even anything on clearance there's no shrub at all at walmart i don't know what's going on with, and i went to two walmart garden center and there's nothing there so i have no clue what's going on but Lowe's is like Lowe's is getting all the new arrivals anyway friends so I just wanted to include these quick fall mums in here and this beautiful white in here but anyway so get it check out your clearance section see what you can find and I have a lot more videos I'm making this hot mess in front of us I'm doing some planters and doing the front porch so I'll be making a video with it and I'll share that with you guys, okay? Alright friends, see you. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>